Hi everyone, welcome back to the Good Word Project. I have not posted videos here for quite some time since I have been quite busy. But here I am back again and hope to be posting videos more frequently. Before I talk about the topic of today's video, let me first share a story with you. There is this young woman named Aditi who is really passionate about her job. Till not very long ago, she was considered to be one of the best employees in her team for her impeccable ability to solve complex problems and deliver great results. However, just a few months back, she was entrusted with working on multiple engagements that required her to constantly check her emails and join back-to-back -back meetings on various topics. The impact? The lingering effect of her previous tasks continued to occupy her mind even when she shifted her focus to a new task. Aditi realized that attention residue was affecting her productivity. For the next one and a half weeks, Aditi would start her day really early before anyone else came to office, not check her emails and start working on the project and eventually entered a state of flow where her creativity and productivity soared. As she cut out distractions, she could pay attention to every detail and produce great results. In the process, she understood that to be productive and happy, she has to commit to the habit of clearing her mind and minimize distractions before starting a task to take care of the most important currency which is becoming so rare these days, the ability to do deep work. That my friend is the topic of today's video, Attention Residue. A lot of you would have resonated with the story. We live in a world which is super prone to distractions. The knowledge workers face two challenges, a the ability to pick up skills quickly and b the skill to deliver results quickly. And the secret lies for both these things in the ability to focus on the task in hand. We can try to break this chain of attention fragmentation by adopting specific strategies. These could be finding a block of time every day where you won't be distracted. Turning off notifications in the phone, especially for social media apps. Creating time blocks in your calendar when people can't reach you. And you could also try out with some form of physical activity during the course of the day or doing meditation for as less as five minutes hope you find this useful and i shall see you in the next video